Hello everyone, welcome to part 81 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So finally the filters module is over dynamic filters module and now we are going to do work on the vendor registration. Okay, so next few videos are on vendors, vendor login and register. So first of all I am going to tell you that what we are going to do in the next few videos and uh, we are going to do the complete vendor login registration process okay so first of all we are going to unbend our login register vendor form okay we have already downloaded the template in the earlier videos there as you know that uh, we have the uh, that multi vendor eShop template okay so this is the design of uh, uh, vendor login register page okay so we are going to work on these forms register form and login form okay so we are going to work on these form the vendor will register and first of all the vendor will register we will send the confirmation email to the vendor to confirm his email account once the vendor will confirm his email account then the vendor can able to log into his account and fill his vendor details like personal uh, bank details business information and then the admin will approve his account so that he can add the products okay so this whole process i am going to explain you this whole process first of all uh, and then we are going to start working on this thing so first thing is to make the process that we want to do otherwise uh, uh, we uh, can't able to handle the things in a perfect manner okay uh, so I'm going to tell you uh, like these are the steps that we are going to take uh, for the vendor registration process and the first one is to embed the login register form design like I have shown you the next step is to uh, create the vendor register form okay we already have the vendor register form we are going to update that form as per our own requirement and we are going to validate that form as well okay and the third step is to create the vendor account as inactive and not confirm okay so we will uh, create the account for the vendor but uh, we will make it inactive and not confirmed means uh, account is still not confirmed we will send the confirmation email uh, offline to uh, to uh, vendor okay we will send the confirmation email to vendor so that the vendor can able to confirm his account okay so this is the step that the vendor is required to take vendor need to confirm his account so we will uh, do with that email offline offline process because online we can't do right now uh, later on in the series we are going to make everything online don't worry about that uh, but right now we are going to use the mail trap uh, mail trap uh, email tool uh, okay service tool that we are going to embed in our laravel e-commerce website so that we can send the emails offline so the so that we can test our functionality our emails okay so the last step is to activate the vendor account so that the vendor can able to add the products okay so these are the steps these are the videos that we are going to uh, going to cover in the upcoming videos okay in the upcoming series okay so the first one is uh, we are uh, see these are the two tables vendors and admins tables okay these tables we have created in the beginning of the series and here we have done one vendor with cedar we have able to add the one ender but now we are going to add uh, actually from the form from the front end okay so vendor when whenever the vendor will register its entry will come in admins table as type vendor because vendor is a type of admin only like i have told you in the beginning of the series as the vendor will get the admin panel vendor can able to add the products vendor can able to check his orders so it's a kind of the admin for the website okay it's a kind of the admin so we will take its type as vendor okay so vendor id also will be there because vendor table we are going to insert the values in the vendor table as well okay so here also we are going to insert the vendors information vendors details okay so uh, uh, in the beginning we are only going to save the uh, necessary details like we are going to uh, ask for mobile email and password the vendor can choose his uh, password mobile email and password these fields name email uh, name mobile email and password these four fields we are going to start with these four fields uh, here we are going to 
uh, add that login register form and uh, with that four fields okay i am going to uh, it here okay so uh, here uh, we are going to replace it with name uh, email mobile and password okay and later on vendor will fill the further details uh, after logging into his account and he can only able to log in he, into his account after confirming his account okay so i hope that the process is clear very much clear to you so the first step that we are going to take in this video is to embed uh, the html design that embed the form okay html vendor form okay embed the form here okay uh, login register form and the next step is to uh, is to may, may validate that that form okay we are going to validate that form uh, we are going to uh, validate and after that uh, we are going to uh, create vendor account okay create vendor account okay create vendor account and after that we are going to confirm uh, vendor account okay confirm vendor account and the last step is to activate vendor account so that he can able to add the products embed the form validate the form create the form confirm the form and confirm uh, the vendor okay create the form confirm the vendor and activate the vendor account okay simple steps okay so uh, let's start uh, first of all uh, we are going to modify our tables uh, okay so from time to time we realize that we require more columns at that time we may require to add further columns so there are two ways like i have already uh, like i have always told you that uh, we can either uh, add the columns from migration or from php my admin okay so i am going to add from php my admin this time you can do from the migration okay uh, but i have less time so i am going to add from the php my admin itself okay so in both admins and vendors table one more column is required and that is the confirm okay because uh, the vendor account is not confirmed in the beginning we will set its value as no in the beginning okay so what i am going to uh, do here after image i am going to add one column after image and that is for uh, confirm okay confirm like this one okay so uh, here we are going to take uh, the enum okay so here we can set the value as no or oh, yes okay and by default uh, it will be no only okay in the beginning we will keep it as no okay so it has been done you can see fine and here by default the value is no okay so the same thing we are going to add for the vendors table as well here also we are going to add one value uh, one uh, confirm column with enum data type where it is here it is okay no oh, yes as defined no save okay so it has been added as well fine okay so now uh, one more thing we are going to do we are going to create the vendor controller for the front end we are required to create the vendor controller so we will go to the folder uh, okay yeah this is my folder ecom9 services new terminal folder uh, i have opened the terminal if you are using the windows you know uh, that you can open the command prop or either git bash okay so here we are going to run the command to create the controller php addition make controller and we are going to create this controller under front okay front folder it's for front so we are going to add and inside the front vendor controller okay so vendor controller has been created we are going to check fine so now uh, we are going to create the route okay to display the login register form for the vendor okay so 
we are going to create the route and it's outside the admin we are going to create here okay uh, we are going to create uh, we will command it like the vendor login register route okay both for login and register so we will use the get here and vendor login register okay here we will add vendor controller that we have created in our last step then login register function okay so we are going to open this file it's already open login register function we are going to add here public function login register this one this function will return to return view we are going to add here front vendors login underscore register okay so this file we are going to create uh, but first of all we will check that so we are going to create the vendors folder as well under front ecom9 resources views front okay layout and products are already there we are going to create one more vendors folder okay so inside this file we are going inside this folder we are going to create one file and that will be uh, that login underscore register dot play dot php okay so if you are in windows you know that you can go inside the folder and you can create the new file as notepad and rename that file okay so login register blade file we have created so i am going to open this blade file and so that we can uh, add the content into it okay first of all uh, we are going to add the add, uh, that front design we can copy that front design from some other page like listing page okay so we can add it like this and in the middle uh, we are going to add our template we can uh, open this template here uh, in our uh, that file okay uh, once again here here we can bring it here okay so here we are going to check uh, the part that we want to copy uh, we want to copy uh, these divs okay page introduction as well as the account page this part we want to copy inside this okay so we can copy this one from our html template so now we are going to check the login register page is working or not vendor uh, login register so let's see 404 error is coming right now and let's see what is the issue behind it uh, vendor controller login register in vendor controller login register is already there and uh, so we are going to check in uh, front folder uh, we have added that vendors and vendors inside vendors login underscore register dot blade dot php okay it is fine so we can debug it like this echo test type why it is not coming we can check whether it is reaching there or not or uh, we need to make sure that uh, uh, our project is running ecom9 is running fine okay so we need to check why it is not working here vendor login register this one is also seems to be fine vendor controller login register uh, okay so here is the issue uh, it uh, is inside i think page is not saved i'm going to save the page once again and now we're going to try uh, okay uh, that is vendor login register now it is working fine uh, it is taking just okay so i think the file is not saved that's why it is not coming now it is coming fine okay you can see vendor login register page is coming in our laravel website okay you can see that we able to 
uh, get this page in our Laravel website. Okay, so now in the next video, we are going to work on its form. Okay, we are going to update its value, we are going to update its form, and after that, we are going to validate it as well. And after that, we are going to create the vendor account. So stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.